If you've got kinks in your necklace, I'll show you how to remove them. You can see on this necklace, there's quite a few of these kinks. Straighten up the chain as much as you can. And just start working it with your fingers. Put it on a flat surface and just kind of press it. Kind of push everything, bend everything back in. Once you get a little closer, just press it between your fingers. Eventually you'll be able to see what direction the twist is in. You can just kind of twist it in the opposite direction very carefully. Now when you run it through your fingers, you can feel it's starting to get smoother, but you can still feel it. You can use your fingernail to put a little more pressure, and now I can really start to feel that kink coming out of there. Work the chain in both directions. Go this way, and then go this way. Just keep working them out. Now you can see it's really starting to lay flat. Now that this kink is kind of out of there, we'll run up until we can find the next one, and that would be right here. We'll just continue the same process. This one's a really tight bend. Just keep working it in until you can see the direction of the kink. We can work it back and forth on a plastic table. The kink in the middle is in pretty bad shape. I'm gonna continue just working on the rest of the chain. Here you can see this needs to be twisted and worked this way. Everything's starting to lay a lot flatter and the kinks are starting to disappear except for this one right here in the middle. The one in the middle was bent just a little bit too far, so it eventually snapped working it back and forth. But you can see we got a lot of those kinks out of there just by working it back and forth. Here's a thinner chain with a lot of kinks. We'll do the exact same method and we'll get this one straightened up. The trick is being able to see which way it bends and just keep working them out just like we did on the other one. The first knot's out, we'll just keep working it. And we'll go to the next knot, just keep working it out. The knot's out, but the kink is still in here, so we'll just keep working it back and forth very gently. Just loosen up the links, move it back and forth until the kink comes out. Now that the knots and kinks are out, just take your fingers and just keep working it back and forth until you just feel everything nice and smooth. Although on this chain there's a lot of kinks, none of them are really, really tight like the other chain. In fact, as I pull, I can feel it straightening. Right here you can see this one's twisted up a little bit, so we'll just keep working it until it locks in. There's a couple knots at the end, so we'll just keep working them out. Loosen them up, you saw that one just pop right out. The chain is starting to straighten, but when I take my fingernail, I can feel the kinks in there still. So I'll just keep working it back and forth. On the edge of a plastic table, we'll keep working it very lightly. Don't overdo it. Keep working it nice and consistent. I'm starting to feel everything line up. Right in here, I can still feel a kink. So we'll just keep moving it back and forth, keep rubbing it in. To find the areas you need to work on a little bit more, just use your fingers and you'll find, like right here, I can feel one. To get the real little kinks out, we'll run it through some soap. It'll lubricate the chain and get the little kinks out. Keep working the chain back and forth with your thumbs. You can also use a piece of wood like this pencil and just run it back and forth. You'll feel it get smoother and smoother each time. Once you think you've got all the kinks out, just go another 50 times and just make sure you've got it. Every once in a while you'll feel a little something, so just keep going in different directions. With a little water, just keep going and it'll straighten it up and clean everything. Now you can see that everything is nice and straight and lays flat. That kinked up necklace is completely restored now.